Hello, Flea Ready fam. Welcome to Flea Ready Gaming. My name is Savad. Today we're doing another episode of Patch Note Watch Out. Today's patch came out on March 1st, 2023, and uh, looks like we have some interesting fixes, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so patch came out at 12 p.m. today, Pacific Standard Time. And let us take a look at the known issues. So known issues, UI quantum travel. Markers will randomly disappear after quantum travel with no route set. Player characters and vendors. Player, uh, players cannot open inventory in vicinity to food vendors. Beg bed logout, Avenger Titan. The player character is spawned into the wall of the ship on login. Shopping, Area 18, Pharmacy Kiosk. Buying pharmacy items at Empire Health results in invalid location error. That's a new one. Another pharmacy related issue cropping up after a little bit of time. Um, Anvil Spartan, another new one. Uh, vehicles, Vehicle Tech, ASOP, Core Tech. Collision physics when spawned via the ASOP on any Platinum Bay pad, the Spartan's wheels will be partially clipped into the ground, preventing it from moving. Ooh, that's a rough one for anyone planning to use that one. Um, Multi-vehicle, vehicle animation. No animation for entering pilot seat. Player will snap into the seat. Constellation multivariant. The snub fighter lacks interaction prompts to enter it, making it unusable. Wallace Clem is still missing from the drug lab in Grim Hex. Looted ammo clips are still dropping off players. There is audio missing from um, Quantum Travel. Scanning is still not showing advanced statistics and details. Transit uh, elevators and trams are jittery during transit of player characters. Salvage some wreckage, uh, some ship wreckage wreckages erroneously give no material text and do not let you salvage cargo performance fully loaded c2 landed at area 18 results in slow frame rate or crash vehicle ifcs when flying near another ship ship seems to hit an invisible box that kicks it in a random direction cargo performance high capacity cargo vessels when loaded can cause a severe performance drop both on client and server Actor feature law respawn. If a player is placed into Clusher after being rescued with the crime stat, the player is respawned in the facility still incapacitated. Breach and steal. The target reclaimer October Rising will disappear when you get very close to it, making the mission impossible. Ship commodity trading cargo inventory. Selling some of the cargo while the vehicle is stored causes the cargo to show at max inventory capacity. Selling commodity kiosk cargo. Large amounts of cargo sold at once will cause the transaction to fail. The cargo will be taken and no money will be granted. Long criminality, commodities cargo. Stolen cargo does not behave as such and can be sold as legal cargo if the ship with the cargo is stored. Ship cockpits, uh, cockpit actor animations. Occasionally unable to exit ship seats. Location, transit elevators. Players can fall through elevators. Rest stop R&R. The uh, player is unable to call elevators from hangar interiors. And finally, multiple locations, ASOP terminals. When storing a ship, the ASOP terminal will set the ship status to claim instead of retrieve. So we had two or three new bugs that cropped up in the last day. Um, hopefully those will get resolved. Let's move on to what actually did get fixed. Fixed AI multi-location, AI standing and crouching on benches throughout the PU. We have seen this bug fixed so many times in the past. Um, it would be a miracle if that's actually the case. Now, I will say, um, I've read a bit of the monthly report that came out today. We got, we're got working on that video as well. Um, and there was a uh, mention in the monthly report that they found code in it that was a potential uh, reasoning behind that issue and that they've reworked it. 
So that might be why we are seeing that bug being fixed now. Um, we'll have more information on that in the monthly report. Uh, let's continue. Fixed. Multi-vehicle AI. Some pirate ships no longer perform circling behavior. Okay. Uh, planet tech locations harvestables. Harvestable deposits may be invisible to players, cause collisions, or become unavailable for scanning, mining, or salvage gameplay. Definitely a good one to get fixed for all the various gameplay loops that require harvestable deposits. Also fixed was the Tumbral Nova which uh, had an issue with the animations where the tracks did not animate with the vehicle locomotion. Uh, also fixed, multi-vehicle. Uh, the total velocity indicator is, was, offset to, uh, was offset in gravity wells. So that's been fixed to where they should now properly show what your velocity is, which I had noticed that issue going on for quite some time throughout the patch, if it's the one I think that this is, and I am quite happy to see that fixed, because knowing what your actual uh, total speed is, is definitely uh, something that's good to know. And then finally, for the last bug fix, we have for the 890 jump hijack. Uh, knocking AI unconscious lowers the AI counter, but the mission cannot be completed until they are killed by the player. Interesting bug that it, you know, knocking them unconscious would, would still count, but didn't really. Um, good to see that's been fixed. And then for the technical, we had one client crash fixed, which was a print screen crash. A server crash was fixed and as well as a uh, major server memory leak was fixed. I'm curious if this is what was causing some of those deadlocks that we've been seeing going on in the PTU. Um, definitely awesome to see that these were addressed. All right, well, with that being said, that is going to end our video here today. If you enjoyed the content, please consider giving our video a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Let's people know our channels out there and spreads um, our videos throughout the YouTube algorithm. And if you feel like we deserved it, uh, consider subscribing to us. We're looking to grow our channel and we also have a giveaway contest going on. You can find more information in the top right about that, what the prize is and how to enter. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful night and we will see you in the next video. Peace.